Hey what's up guys I'm Sal from Chronos Tech and today I'm going to show you how to root the Nexus 5 or any Nexus device on the final Android 6 Auto Marshmallow build. So first we need three things, latest TWRP recovery, Super SU flashable zip and Elemental X custom kernel. Your bootloader needs to be unlocked for this whole thing to work and you need the fast boot and ADB drivers to be set up properly. Pretty simple right? If not then you can watch my video on how to do it, it'll be in the description as well as in the annotations. So first let's get our recovery, head to the TWRP devices page which I'll link in the description below. Just key in your device name or the device model like mine is Hammerhead which is Nexus 5 and you'll get a link to this page. Here just scroll down and click on one of the primary links to download the recovery. Now there are a couple of links here, the one on the top is the latest one and that's the one that we're gonna download. Now head to the Elemental X website to find the kernel for your device. You can download a kernel for various devices here and it mainly supports all variants of the Nexus smartphones. I'm gonna download the Nexus 5. Download the Android 6.0 version and download either the regular one or the Express one for a faster installation and lesser user input. I'm gonna download the normal one, does not really matter. Third and last thing that you need is the latest Super SU beta, which at current time is 2.52 beta. So it can be different at your time, just download the latest one. Download it from the Chainfire website, the link will be in the description below. Now copy the Super SU and the kernel both to your phone. You don't need the recovery to be copied right now. Now turn off your phone and connect it in fast boot mode. To do that, just hold for a couple of seconds the volume up, volume down keys and the power button keys together or I should say together if that's a word. I don't think so. So once this screen shows up, connect your cable to the phone and then to the computer. Now on the desktop or wherever your files are, hold the shift key and right click to bring up this menu and then click on the command window here option. After that write fast boot, devices and hit enter. It will show you if your device is connected or not. If there's nothing then it means that there's something wrong with your drivers and you need to reinstall them properly. Now once the device shows up, just write fast boot, flash recovery and the name of the recovery followed by .img. Or you can just write fast boot, flash, recovery and the initials of your recovery, for example mine is TWRP, just write TWRP and hit the tab button and hit enter. Now the recovery has flashed. Now remove the cable from your system and the phone and press the volume down key till it says recovery mode and press the power button to boot into the recovery mode. Here's the daemon recovery. Just swipe to allow modifications, it's nothing much. Now tap on install tab and find where you copied the kernel, mine is just an SD card so it's down below here. Once you see it, tap it and then swipe to flash. You'll see that the installation is actually an interactive process. If you just want to set the best combinations then just keep tapping next or if you want to fine tune your CPU governor or maybe undervolt or overvolt your system and uh, and set thermal throttling or something like that, then you can play around with the settings a little. But I only advise you to do so if you have the ample knowledge of what you are doing, otherwise it can lead to pretty drastic results. And do it only if you actually know what you are doing. Now once all that is done, just tap on install elemental X. That's it, it's finished. Now swipe to unlock and now before flashing the root files, you need to clean your cache. Tap on wipe cache in Dalvik and swipe. Now find the super issue file and tap on it, it's in the SD card directory too. Now swipe to flash. Once it's done, wipe cache in Dalvik again. Make sure uh, you wipe your cache in Dalvik on regular time, that's a pretty good practice. Now just reboot the system and wait for it to start. Now let's go to the menu and see if super issue is there. Mm, here it is. So yeah. You guess right, the phone is rooted now, but it's still not confirmed. And to do that, I'm gonna go to Play Store and download the Root Checker app from there. Install. It'll only take a couple seconds, it's not a big application. And agree and open. Now just set it up real quick, nothing to pay much attention here. Click on Verify Root and grant it the super user access. And yay, the phone is rooted now. Wow. So that was a pretty tough job, give yourself a pat on the back and uh, 
me, just give me a like if the video helped you. If there's anything that you want to ask, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll answer that for you. Share the video and subscribe to my channel to get all the good stuff I make as soon as I upload it. Thanks for watching the video guys, this is Kronostek signing off. Thank <laughs> you.